Okay, so like, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me let me go to it directly. Um, a sprite is this is a sprite. So I'm gonna get a new. I'm on the stream right now. I'm doing a new a sprite image, right? So this is a sprite. A sprite is a pixel sprite editor, right? So it's for pixel art, not for photo editing, which means the the shortcut keys and the interface is optimized for pixel perfection not for the types of things that GIMP would do. You would not load a 1080p image in this. You would literally load. For instance, right? It's got a few things going for it, right? Like for instance, let me do a ball. Let's draw a ball, right? Let's draw a little football. Little football. Here's a little football, right? A football, mm. right? Is it a little fella? Football. Little fella. So uh, let's mm. make the football. Use, look, use a shortcut key. Make the it's football pink, color. right? A horrible color. There we go. Uh, and then we want to put like a little, put like a little thing on the football. Look. Make it look like it's got a glow on it, right? So there's a football, right? Mm -hmm. Darker yeah. patch there, it's like or dark patch there, just to give it some, give it some edging, right? Uh, and then mm -hmm. if I want to make this ball bounce now, right? So I can just push Tab to bring up the uh, the layer system, right? And then I can go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want a new frame, so Shift Enter. Oh, that's not the one. It's Alt Enter for a new frame. Uh, and this one, I want the ball to go down, right? So. Uh, I'm going to take the ball now and I'm just going to move the ball down a little bit, right? And I'm going to do another frame. Move the ball down again. Another frame. Oh. Move the ball down again. Right. Make the make the ball further away each time because we want to give it the impression it's speeding up, right? Mm-hmm. Oop. It, there's a, a word for this technique. Is it called onioning or something? Yeah, like onion skinning. Yeah, onion skinning. Onion skinning. That's and then we'll, we'll take this now. <laughs> onioning. Oop. I'm going to give you a solid right. onioning. And now we probably want a new layer, right? A new layer. We'll call it deform, right? And this layer, we'll paste oh, on this layer. We'll get rid of that. This layer, we'll paste this one in. And we'll deform it now, right? So we'll just like push it down all the way. or push it down a little bit. Right? And then we'll just give it another, another frame. Push it down a bit more. A bit more than that. Push it down. Why does it look so like splattered? Why, why, why does it have a um? Hmm? What? Why is it another layer to do deform? Well, I mean, I could have done the deform in the one layer, right? But as soon as the ball gets back to being round, which you know, in the next couple of frames you'll see, um, I'll just repaste the original round layer and move it away. So if I make the deformation layer a separate thing, if I fuck up the deformation, instead of working on the whole thing. I'd have to make it match. I just work on that one piece. So any type of key in the animation, I make a different layer. And you can see with the in fact, let me load up, uh, let me load up the recent one, the Opus. So in the in the one we made, this one we made, which is you know you've seen before, it's the it's the it's the running and the right. In this one, mm -hmm. every asset I've got here is a different effect. So I've got my border. So if working from the bottom, I've got my backdrop right. So I can toggle that on and off. So I can do that. I've got my lower grid there, right. Lower grid colors. I got match with grid text, with grid highlights, and I got the text itself because I kept the text on the screen while I was doing it, so I could line up the lightning with the text, you know. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I then wanted it removed, right? I had this idea about putting my face on it as well, so I like you I did I did think about doing that, so I just made a different layer, and yeah, it's it's just like by making everything a separate asset as well. Visually, right? When I look at this now, so now I know what this animation does, and it's quite complex. Anything with a dot in is populated. So I know that on this print run, for instance, whatever this is here, the final text bit, that doesn't appear to layer 41. So before that point, the text isn't there. And the text appears on 41. So visually, I can see what frames things kick off in. I can see and if I want to toggle off the if I want to toggle off the dinosaur, so it looks like without the dinosaur, I can just do that. Right? But any any asset I make, I make a separate layer. And with this one here, I'm like, you know. This one here, I'm gonna gonna make it a little bit of a little bit little bit that way as well See? okay right and then this I'll delete that there then I'll go here and I'll just paste the original ball back in there right and then again doop 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 there's my uh, there's my ball bouncing away happily I could have just like put an angle on it and, and done it. Like if I was actually doing this anything other than demo, I would have done a lot more with it than I have done. Yeah, this is just sort of a demonstration to yeah. to do a quick and easy animation, I guess. And a ball bouncing is pretty fucking easy. So now I do all this, look, and just do that. Alright, so that's probably enough there, right? So now mm -hmm. 
when I run that, it should. Oop. I'll turn off the onion skin. Boop it again. See? Doop. See, very quickly, you have like a very pretty convincing animation given I've done nothing to it. But like, the, one of the things A Sprite does now is now I've done that, right? I can do another layer now, right? I can I can call this uh, shadow, right? So if I go from here, so I've got the shadow layer now, right? I'm, I'll move up there. I've got the shadow layer now. I can just get this here. I'll get the uh, get the pixel tool. Just like. Shadow there now. And because the shadow layer is underneath it, I can draw around it and I haven't got to worry too much. Ah. So I don't have to worry about being accurate. I can just put it on top of it. I can just draw on top of it essentially. There you go. What key, uh, shortcut key are you using to do a frame forward? Arrow. Just as simple as an arrow. Yeah. But now, like, so now, without without having to really know anything about animation, I've now got, like, this very rough shadow that follows. And we create a separate layer. Like, we create a separate layer. Like, here, I've gone very wrong, right? That shadow's in the wrong place, right? If we create a separate layer, I can just take that and just move it across like that, and then, boop. Okay. Uh, and then, like, make that make more sense. We're going, where's that shadow coming from? So we can just do a new layer. Put the sun. <sighs> In that one, we just go there. You go there's your, uh, there's your sun, in the sky. And I can just, oh, that's not what I want to do. I can then copy that, and I can just paste that all the way across there. I can just go. Make sure the sun appears in every single frame. And again, I can see if I've done it or not because the black dots fill in. But we don't really want our sun to move, right? So now we run it. And we run it. We go. Doo, 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 doo. I like the sun's there. So, yeah. uh, what what key shortcut key combination are you doing to just uh, fill up all the frames? Oh, I'm just copying paste. I'm just literally I'm clicking on the actual frame here and I'm copying it and then I'm just going right paste, right paste, right just to populate it. There are ways to highlight and paste in and stuff, but like it's just as quick with like 29 frames to just tap 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 tap. tap. Um, yeah, but uh, and then like if I, so then if if I'm on a static image though, so if I go uh, new image, so if, if I'm on a static image. Like this one, I said I'm just gonna draw a static image. I draw a little man, right? So I draw, I draw my little dude. Uh, I'm gonna draw a little, he's got a little smiley face, a little nose, a little nose sticking out, little eyes. Look, imagine this is what Cyrus looks like, if I'm honest, right? You know uh, what I look like, you pillock. We've got to draw the chiseled jaw, big chin, uh. big chin, big chin, and hair, right? man, manly jaw, manly jaw. Like a fucking cartoon character, I see. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it the... Mm. Uh, give him, get Match Cyrus is uh, the skin tone of a nerd, so he stays inside a lot. Doesn't grant much. Oh. Doesn't grant much. I'm, the whites of his eyes done. I'm, right. I'm so touched by this artistic I mean, rendition. Doesn't Cyrus have a uh, forehead? Forehead. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a forehead. He doesn't. He doesn't have one. It's foreheads. The rest kind of look like the, the rest kind of looks like him, but um, I... <laughs> no, yeah, this is this is Cyrus's hair. This is Cyrus's manly hair. I mean, make a little character. I mean, Cyrus, Cyrus basically took his forehead and put it where his, you know, to augment yeah. the bottom of his jaw, really. Right, but then one I thing. The reason I was drawing this though. <laughs> the reason I was drawing this though is like we then highlight it, right? We do Shift and O to bring up the the the, the layering effect. We can then just put a whiteboard around it, right? Hit OK, and then we've got something that looks actually like a sprite. So then we can just like. Oh. We need the forehead. I'm I'm disturbed by the lack of. It's like it's like. I, apparently, I I don't have one, Olivia. Um, uh, that's a really cool effect. I like the outline effect. Yeah, but that that's just one button, so I can draw anything I want, and then I just highlight it and just just draw a thing. But I can also then because it's a sprite editor. Um, I can then just well, take this nice here. It's nice because you can do like a yeah. telegram stickers. I can take this. Yeah, I can take this here. I can decide I want to crop the sprite or trim the sprite, and it just trims it down to just the sprite, and that's now sprite. Right. This is what I do when I actually do pixel art. I'm not fucking around. This is what I did. This is the enterprise I actually made. 
when I wasn't fucking around and actually was doing stuff. Here's one I made earlier. It's literally one I made earlier, yeah. Blue piece with the shit out of it, yeah. It's not amazing. There's a lot wrong with it, but I'm not going to point it out. Um, well, it was I don't, also... I don't re this was also the first thing I ever animated. So, yeah, that was that was what I did. 